what's up guys welcome back to the channel Akim Sterling here now in this video I'm gonna show you guys how to upgrade to Windows 11 now before you can upgrade to Windows 11 first you have to check to see if your computer is compatible with the Windows 11 upgrade and guys if your computer is not compatible with Windows 11 I'm gonna show you another way in which you can upgrade to Windows 11 for free so first what you want to do is go to your start menu click on settings go to update and security now as you guys can see that this system can run windows 11 but if you don't see this message right here i'm gonna give you guys the link to the website in the description box that you can click to do your pc check to see if your pc is compatible with windows 11. you are going to go to this website so what you want to do is to click right here PCL check so basically what you're doing right now is to check your computer if it is compatible for running Windows 11 so what you can do you can see system requirements or you can go ahead and download the app to do your L check so right now I'm going to download the app after the app has complete what you want to do is to run the app accept the terms in license agreements and install And guys, if you already know that your system has met the requirements, you don't have to do this check because you will already know that your PC is compatible. So I'm going to finish this right now. So I'm going to click right here and check now. And as you guys see the message right here, this PC meets the requirements for Windows 11. I can also see our result. And this is L check guys that all of the system requirements has met. Yes guys, now that I have realized that my PC has met the requirement to install Windows 11, I'm just going to go ahead right now and install Windows 11 on my PC. But guys, if your PC have not met the requirements, there's no need to worry because I'm going to show you a way in which you can install Windows 11 just as the same if your PC does meet the requirements. But bear in mind that Microsoft won't support update on your system because they are saying that system which doesn't meet the requirements they will not put update on those systems so bear in mind that those are don't fault if you're going to update Windows 11 on your system if it did not meet the requirements so bear that in mind so first I'm going to go back now to my settings now in the Windows update section right here in the settings you can update your Windows from here if you're in the inside a program but if you're not in the inside a program what you want to do is go to the Microsoft website I'm going to also put a link in the description box that you guys can go and download this ISO file. So I'm going to go to it right now. Alright guys, once you have reached on the Microsoft website, there are three options in which you can download the Windows 11 file to install on your PC. Now the first option in which that you can download this installation assistant right here where you can download it on your PC and install it on the current PC that you're using. So if you want to install Microsoft on the current PC that you're using, you will basically choose the first option, which is very easy because the file is a much smaller in which you can download and install it. Now the second option is that if you want to use the media creation to download on another PC, you can use this file here to install on a different PC, which using a USB or a DVD. Now the third option now is when you're creating an ISO file to for a media creation if you want to install it on another PC using the ISO file. So there are three options. So you will choose the option that is best for you in which you want to download this file right here. So all you have to do is click on download and you have the file and you're going to install it. So as you can see guys, I have the three type of file right here has been downloaded on my PC. So this one was the first option. What I can do is to click on this right here. And I can install Windows 11 directly from this PC right here by clicking yes. And what I can do guys is accept the terms and condition right here. And now it is being downloaded. All the files to be installed on my system right here. So guys, this may take a while depending on your internet speed to download this file to be installed on your system. So guys, if this video was helpful, please remember to subscribe to this channel for more content like this. And as always guys, thank you for watching. 
stay tuned for more future video and update on windows 11 as i give you guys more tips and tricks and thank you guys for watching stay tuned for more content as always peace out